Oh, it's a sad day. <laughs> it's a sad day for me and a sexy Brad. <sighs> I was hoping my next fan build episode was going to be a bit more positive. I knew a lot of work on the uh, van needed doing. Sorry about that. It is the next day. I don't know why I lost most of that video footage I took yesterday. It just wasn't my day, was it really? It just wasn't my day. We knew that the MOT was going to be a fail. We just didn't know how much of a fail it was going to be. Man, it's just, it's going to cost so much. The van is pretty much just a write-off. Like I mentioned in the previous vlog that I did, it needed new tyres. I know it needed a bit of welding. And there's like silly things in there that's like easy to fix. The saddest piece of paper I've ever had in my hands right now but the main thing really is the oil light flickering apparently the coolant is really badly leaking and if you know anything about these old vans you'll know that those things are quite worrying so what are my options what are my options like oh i'm so sad all the work all the time and effort that went into it my hopes and dreams all just feel like a distant reality at this point i'm just gutted like i'm so so gutted oh it's sad it's a sad day sad times sad times we're living in right now right so yeah that's that disappointment the van hasn't even left the drive since doing all this hard work so it's massively disappointing it was pretty much their worst <laughs> that it was going to be a write-off and i definitely don't have all that money to keep putting into it at the minute i'm just trying to figure out what to do like i still want to do the traveling i still want to live that van life experience that yeah my options the more <laughs> what are my options then there is a bit of mess in the back right now it's only been a day and brad's already been <laughs> used as the storage shed um, uh, that's what I mean. The poor thing. The poor thing deserves so much more life than what it's getting right now. Brad, I'm sorry. Man, I cannot. I just can't stop being so gutted. Option one is making my way through this immense list of things. I'm only in a position to do one thing at a time, as in when I've got the money, just slowly pay it off. And the rest of that is that the van's going to continue to sit on the drive. And during that time, more things could be going wrong with it, as the whole reason why he's in such bad shape is because he's pretty much been sat for two years, rotten away, because one of COVID, we couldn't get out when we wanted to, and then secondly, my financial situation changed immensely, so it's just one of those things it's just all gone it's all gone tits up pretty much that's option one i don't think that's really going to be a viable option it just kind of feels like the van's going to end up being a money pit by that point because i can do all the work and then put it through another mat and then there could be more things to do by the time i've actually got through the list option two sell the van how it is in the hope someone wants to take on a little project he's so quirky <laughs> like obviously the paintwork's not finished so like someone can either finish it themselves or do something different with it the conversion in the back is literally done people can adjust it to how they want and yeah and then obviously someone that knows what we're doing i've got the money to put into it can do that but i will end up having a massive loss if i just sell it how it is and i've put so much of my hard-earned money into it so i don't want to do that option three to just literally sell it as spares and repairs start it out and sell it piece by piece and make a bit of money that way but again so time consuming a lot of waiting around there's a lot of waiting around i've been waiting far too long i think i mean let me know in the comments if you can think of anything else better to do my dad does have a uh fear oh, it's a tiny little van a tiny little work van um, and I have actually seen some people doing some micro camper conversions. They're insane. Like, they are insane. But then again, <laughs> it's deciding what to do with Brad because obviously we're going to have to start a whole conversion again from scratch. I can utilise what we've got in the van, i.e. the units and stuff, all the wood, the vinyl floor. We can probably reuse and put into the other one. It's another big old project. More YouTube <laughs> content. Tearing everything out, selling it as parts is really sad because that's pretty much the end of sexy brass <laughs> I know cars don't have souls, but you do get attached, <laughs> don't you? I mean, I'm sure some people can relate. Ah, oh, they're my options. I'm actually kind of glad the footage <laughs> from yesterday got deleted because I was a right miserable <laughs> in that one. I'm being a bit more hopeful today. I was just so gutted. Like, I still am gutted. But hey, hopefully it's all going to work out for the best and there's going to be a reason behind this. Can't help but feel gutted at the same time. Literally looking around the van at the minute and seeing... <laughs> 
And seeing all the hard work is just so disappointing. But hey, what can you do? That's life. But yeah, do let me know in the comment what you think I should do, what you think my best option might be. I really don't want to give up on this massive dream of mine that I've had for years and been working so hard to try and achieve. Everything is going wrong all the time. I'm bloody sick of it. But hey, it is what it is. Uh, we move. Try and make the best out of a bad situation. If you think of anything else, let me know. If you would like to take on a project and give Brad and Lover Lisa life, hit me up. I hope this isn't the end. Brad, I really hope this isn't the end for you. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for this update. I was really hoping the next van build episode would be something a bit more exciting, like me finishing the paintwork, getting all the bits and bobs fixed and stuff. But hey, I, you know, there may be a new van build conversion series <laughs> coming up. So stay tuned for that. Do subscribe. Oh, it's a sad day. Okay, I'll see you all very soon. Don't forget to stay groovy. Yeah, beauty. Bye. Bye. <laughs>